I'm John Pemberton. I'm Vice President of Government Relations for Southern Company, a utility down in the southeast region. One of the, the big challenges we have in the energy debate is when you go to the public and say, how, what is the source of energy that you get for electricity? No one really understands. A lot of people think we use oil still to generate electricity, and we don't. It's really coal, natural gas, nuclear, renewables. Uh, oils vary, vary. It's less than 1% of the, the fuel used for generation of electricity. So t making sure that when people hear the oil debate and hear about importation of oil or drilling, they understand that that is somewhat of a different debate, even though it's under the whole title of energy, than it is for electricity. And, and that's really a job we have to make sure that people understand that. The oil spill is having a pretty big impact on the whole debate from an emotional perspective because obviously it's a horrible disaster. However, it's not changing the complexity of the debate and we still have a very long-term energy debate that's happened here in the Congress that is not gonna be able to solve a short-term political decision. So it is actually, I think, gonna complicate the debate on the Hill as far as being able to move comprehensive legislation. In the Senate, there's a third, a third, a third. There's a third that will do anything to get climate change legislation passed. There's a third that won't vote for it no matter what. And then there's a third that really want to look at a good balanced energy policy. And somehow both sides have to drop their ideals and come together. I think also uh, we're really going to have to recognize that this is an energy economic debate, not just an environmental debate. And so when we're looking at all these things, it's going to touch every part of the economy. And people really have to come to the table truly ready to negotiate and recognize that we might have to take some small steps forward before we can take some big leaps. I think it's going to be a challenge to do that in the short time frame we have left in this year before the elections. I think you'll see some debate, and I don't know if we'll see an end to that debate, but probably in the, the lame duck session after the election and clearly next year. But it's really, this oil spill is adding a dynamic that none of us know really what the outcome is going to be. Uh, and hopefully it's going to stop, and hopefully we're going to be able to do what we can to protect the environment. But it's going to have an impact on this debate that's going to change the perspectives every week.